Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, if you thought 2023 was a crazy year, buckle up for 2024. I want to talk about what just happened today on New Year's Day in Japan. This is recently in from Fox News. Look at the title of this article. Japan's terror. 7.6 magnitude earthquake leaves victims buried beneath rubble. Cracks Earth's surface. Let me read some of this to you guys. Japanese authorities issued tsunami alerts and evacuation announcements Monday, today, New Year's Day, after a series of earthquakes shook the west part of the main island. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake was reported around 4 p.m., the strongest of more than a dozen documented by the Japan Meteorological Agency. Major tsunami warnings were issued for Ishikawa Prefecture, while the rest of the country's western coast was also issued less severe warnings. The highest level alert was later lifted, though coastal residents were told to remain away from their homes due to the danger of deadly waves. Every minute counts. Please evacuate to a safe area immediately, said government spokesman Yoshimasha Hayashi. Folks, please pray for the people of Japan. The videos and pictures that are coming out on social media are devastating. And there's still people uh, under rubble. And you're seeing some of the footage of the waves crashing, some of the bigger waves. Uh, some of the footage coming out is devastating. The destruction and people that are still trapped under the rubble. So please pray for the people of Japan. But also pray through this that many come to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Folks, what in the world is going on with all these earthquakes? It is off the charts. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. This is one of the signs that Jesus told his disciples to look for that would signal his soon return. In fact, in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 6 to 8, this is as Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives and his disciples came to him privately and they asked him what the signs of the end would be. Jesus then gives them a list of the things of the signs that would precede his second coming, which is at the end of the seven year tribulation period. And we see here in Matthew chapter 24, verses six to eight, the Lord Jesus Christ says the following, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, or another translation renders it threats of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and here we go, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And then when you go to Luke's account, in Luke chapter 21, verse 11, we read the following, And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall, th shall there be from heaven. So if you're somebody that's asking, what in the world is going on with all these earthquakes, these big earthquakes that are happening all over the world? And make no mistake about it, the earthquake activity is off the charts. They are increasing in intensity and frequency all over the world. But again, if you're someone that's asking what in the world is happening with all these earthquakes, Jesus said this would be one of the signs that would show that his return is getting closer. But notice in Matthew chapter 24, verse 8, it says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So folks, things are going to get a whole lot worse, especially during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet. So you're going to continue to see massive earthquakes increase in intensity and frequency all over the world, just like the Bible said, just like Jesus said would occur as one of the signs that would precede his second coming, again, which is at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day, 
very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. God bless you all.